All right, like so let's try our new trick. Oh, I don't need planimeter up here. But what I want to remember is this thing about, okay, I can rephrase an area integral as the integral over the bounding curve of x dy, right? So let's use this to find the area of an ellipse. And I promise this won't go like the last time we tried something with an ellipse. So we <laughs> tried to solve an extremely hard problem. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to put anything kind of ellipse related on the exams? Yes. Damn it. Yeah. Okay, so you should know what an ellipse looks like, yeah. which is what? Yeah. <laughs> X squared over A squared. Plus Y squared over B squared. Okay. Equals. Equals R squared, or one, or whatever. About one. That way, A is the either major or minor axis, and B is the other one. Right? So, how do I parameterize a curve that's an ellipse? Um, right, so if I look, look at this thing and I think to myself, okay, this is a curve C. So, here's some ellipse. Right, we're going to go around in a positive direction. Why would I go a positive direction? Because we can't find the, the uh, what was his name? We can't use, the, the we can't use Green's theorem if it's not yeah. positive. I can't use Green's theorem if it's not positive. Plus, I want it to be an area, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so I, I want a positive answer out. If I orient it negatively, Green's theorem will still kind of work, but it'll give me a negative number. Yeah. So okay, x yeah. equals a cos. OK, so the x coordinate then is a cosine theta. Y is uh, B, B sine theta. Okay, and Y is B sine theta. Okay. Z equals wherever it's placed. Well, Thank we're not know. working with three. Yeah, so I don't have a Z, right? Okay. So Z is zero in this case. Um, how about, okay. So I want to integrate, right? My goal is to integrate over the ellipse right, of one, the area. Yeah. And I say, okay. That's the integral of what? Of the path. Yeah. Okay, the over the path, right? So where does this path around the ellipse, where does it start and stop in terms of theta? Well, that's just going to be 0, zero to 2 pi. pi. 0 to 2 pi. So I'm going to do the 0 to 2 pi integral of what? What's x in terms of? Of a cosine theta t. Perfect. It's a cosine theta. And then I need d, and what goes in for y? Um, sine b sine theta. Right, b sine theta. Okay, so I need to do d to b sine theta. Oh, okay. Oh, very good. So let's finish this thing up. So I was doing d of b sine theta, and Cosmo was wondering what the heck that was about. So maybe a better way to do that would be to say over here, right? I want to find dy. So y was b sine theta. So just like u substitution, what's dy then? dy is t co a b cosine theta. Should be b cosine theta d theta, right? You guys with me on that? So over here, when I do d of b sine theta, I should get b cosine theta d theta. And then take out the a, b, and that's going to be cosine squared d theta. Perfect. So the a and the b, those are constant, right? So is that just like shorthand? What? Like oh, this thing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I I flip notations occasionally because sometimes my brain works the other way. Either way you want to think, right? Yeah. So here I've got a b the integral from zero to two pi of cosine squared theta d theta d theta, and maybe I want to replace cosine squared with one plus cosine two theta, and then just take. 
Okay, so let me replace this with one plus cosine two theta, d theta, and then what were you saying? Uh, take out the one half. Okay, yeah, then it's a one half, so let me throw it out here. But Couldn't you just do the one minus cosine squared? Oh, you guess you still have the square to work with. Yeah, you could flip it to sines, but yeah, yeah you've got the same problem. Okay, so then out of that jazz, I've got a b over two from zero to two pi of one d theta plus zero to two pi of cosine two theta d theta. Okay, so I've got integral from zero to two pi of one d theta plus the integral from zero to two pi of cosine two theta d theta. Which the cosine becomes zero. Okay, and this piece zeroes out because it's a trig function over entire period. Yeah. It's entire period. From zero to two. Twice. Twice. You guys see that? Yeah. So be a little careful with those, it's, it's right? It's an even multiple of its entire period. Yeah, if it was over its period and a half, I'd be in trouble, right? But over its period twice, I can zero it out. So then, what is the integral from zero to two pi of one d theta contribute? Two pi. Two pi? Yeah. So you get all told pi a b? Yeah. Okay. Sanity check. <laughs> How do I check that this is same? Uh, if A and B are the same, you get pi r squared. Yes. Right? A and B are the same, it should come out to the, uh, the area of a circle, right? Yeah. Pi r squared. It does. Check. Awesome. It works in at least one case. It must be a fundamental law of the universe. <laughs> right? Yeah. Until it says no.